Welcome, my friends, to another episode of My Descent into Madness. Uh, is it not a wonderful day to die? Like, we sort of want to die. You know what I mean? Like, there is a certain allure there, isn't there? Of all your problems ceasing at once. I'm not saying this in like a depressed, emo sort of way. I'm saying like, imagine going to bed and never waking up again. What a fantastic experience that must be. And to answer the question that some of you guys had, uh, whether the German townspeople I live with uh, think I'm crazy, uh, maybe. But it's okay, we forgive them. I get asked often how I get the cat to be able to follow me around the town. Uh, actually, cats really like to walk along with you, you know, build the rapport, same with people, you know, like eat together with them and, you know, give them cuddles, talk about their marriage problems, and they'll follow you. Isn't that fantastic? I'm actually more surprised by the fact that this cat walks because it's a bit well prepared for winter. I don't know if you've ever been to, um, you know, sometimes for, for example, taking out your wisdom teeth and then they sometimes put like the thing on you, you know, and then you can uh, experience this transition of losing consciousness. Uh, I had it when I had my wisdom teeth removed. And wasn't that a fascinating experience? Experiencing losing awareness. I don't want to say consciousness because some of you guys are going to be like, no, like consciousness is there already. So, so we leave out the word consciousness because, because the word has whiskers on it already. But to experience death wholly and consciously. It can only happen once, right? So, uh, must be exciting. And like, you can use it to your advantage. You know what I mean? To know that almost certainly you, my friend, are gonna bite into the grass and look at the radishes from the bottom. What a power of freedom this gives to you. Because no matter how well you live your life, no matter how well organized you are and how well you do your taxes and so on. What's that quote about at the end of the game, both the king and the farmer go into the same box again? What's it called? The pawn. The pawn. Just imagine I said the saying right. So I'm not saying out of a great... You should, you could get so much courage out of your knowing that you'll die and so on, that everything's... A, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this in a rrr, young sort of way. I'm saying... More for the anxiousness inside you, you know, the... The, the fear. Maybe even the depression. Like, it's okay, you will die, my friend. I'm almost certain that you will. So like, use it to your advantage, you know? You will find this in the old and wise monks when you talk to them, you know what I mean? Like this acceptance of death, that it's just, it's just there. And, and isn't that wonderful? Whatever happens, whatever you mess up, it's fine. It is simply a wonderful At the end of the day, it'll simply be fine. My friends, Ah, me And uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week.